I'm trying to think of a cold opener. Dude, we all know what you're saying. Hello, I'm Father Aaron. Welcome back to The Dungeon Minister. Some of you have been asking for a sort of a recap on who the characters are, uh, who's playing who and what their stats are, how many XP they're at, things like that. So, for you, I am going to introduce the characters and from now on I'm going to try to remember at the beginning of each episode to let people know where the characters stand in experience points. Starting up with two of the characters who have been there from the very get-go, the two elves. The first of which is played by my younger boy, who's six years old, and this elf's name is Bob Johnny. Now, Bob Johnny might not be the first name that leaps to mind when you, you know, think of an elf. It's not in Tolkien, I don't think. But anyway, that's what he named him, and so here's Bob Johnny. Bob Johnny carries a battle axe. My youngest was taken with the idea in the first adventure, and he also wears plate mail armor. This makes him pretty tough to hit, and he was almost always first in the marching order in the early adventures. Now, since then, some of the other characters have gotten more hit points than Bob Johnny, but he still remains the hardest to hit of the entire group, and so he often leads the charge. Bob Johnny started off with the spells of Light and Magic Missile. This was when I had entirely forgotten that a first-level magic user or elf ought to have Read Magic just as one of their beginning spells, and then the other one can be a combat spell. So I gave him Light and Magic Missile to start with. And then later I just said, oh, and you've got Read Magic too, because I'd just forgotten and that was my fault. At any rate, he often uses Magic Missile. It's his go-to spell, as it is for many uh, low-level magic users, and he uses Light quite frequently as well, to good effect. Next up, the other elf, and the other character who has been there since game one, Fleetwood the Elf. Now, Fleetwood does not actually come from Fleetwood Mac. It is the name of a character in the player's manual. It's one of the pre-rolled characters, I think. I should check this, but I think. And it's actually a fighter, but my eldest, who plays this character, thought it sounded more like an elf, and so when he went to make his elf character, he chose the name Fleetwood. Fleetwood is armed with a short sword and a dagger, and although the basic rules don't have two-handed weapon use, there is a possibility in the Master's set to go and train and learn how to use weapons better, and I'm going to retroactively apply that to my adventures, and I'm going to give Fleetwood the option to train for two-handed combat. He is wearing chainmail armor, although the figure that I found doesn't have that. He's got, uh, I think it's leather armor he's wearing there. But um, there he is, Fleetwood the elf, and he has memorized also light, and Sleep, which he used to great effect in the Battle of Honeywood, and which he employs as often as he can. And like with Bob Johnny, I'd just forgotten that first-level magic users and elves need to have read magic as one of their spells. So I retroactively gave it to him and pretended that he'd had it all along. Why not? Next up is Touchberry the Halfling, played by my middle boy. Now, my middle boy went through a number of characters. He was an elf, then he was a cleric. I had my hopes. But now he is Touchberry, the doughty halfling, carrying a shield and a short sword, because of course he's a halfling, so he needs to carry a smallish weapon, and clad in chain mail. He actually has the most hit points of anybody in the group, which is kind of funny, and it's entirely because halflings advance so much faster than elves do. However, the halfling reached third level around the time that the elves were reaching second level, and since then they've just been tracking together. The elves just always one step behind, but at least they change levels at around the same time now. Finally, we meet Fofire. I'm not sure that's how it's spelled, but that's how I'm spelling it, because I like the idea of false fire. I like the idea that Fofire, as a thief, as a sort of rogue character, is not entirely honest all the time. 
You'll see here the character is armed with a large bow with a dragon ornament on the ends of it. Now, when my wife rolled the character, or more accurately, when my eldest boy rolled the character for my wife, uh, she came equipped with a normal sword and didn't have any range weapon whatsoever. But this figure looked so cool, and I thought that was such a neat thing, I decided that I would write the bow into the adventure just to match the figure, because that's really cool. So in a later adventure, which I, I haven't covered yet in these videos, you will see how Fofire comes across that bow. She is actually the highest leveled character because thieves advance like crazy, but has a slightly fewer hit points than Touchberry just because thieves only roll a 1d4 for each level. <laughs> So there are our characters, Bob Johnny and Fleetwood the Elves, Touchberry the Halfling, and Fofire the Human Thief. And as an aside, I haven't shown these figures to the boys yet. I got them months ago, and I planned to reveal them in the adventure where they finally fight the White Dragon. I thought that would be a cool thing, the big reveal, I would put out the White Dragon, and then I'd say, oh, that's not all, and I'd bring out the figures. Well, since then, they've gone to our friendly local game store and bought their own miniatures. So now I've got these. I don't know what to do with them. I guess I'm going to give them to them anyway, because the ones they bought are kind of approximate. I looked a long time online to find these. So they look very much like the characters are described, with just a couple of details here and there that aren't quite perfect. Because they look more like the characters have been described, and because it took me so long to find them, I'm going to introduce them anyway. And if they don't want to play with them, well, fine. I'll just take my toys and go home. <laughs>